This is the AP Calculus BC 2010 Form B, number one of the free response. In the figure above, R is a shaded region in the first quadrant bounded by the graph of Y equals four times the natural log of three minus X, the horizontal line Y equals six, and the vertical line X equals two. For part A, we have to find the area of R. And to do this, we would use the area between two curves formula, which is the integral, integral from A to B, of f of x dx minus the integral from a to b of g of x dx. To make it easier, you can condense it into a smaller formula, which is the integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x dx, because they have the same bounds. So in this case, we would use f of x and g of x. f of x is always the upper function this is upper, this is lower, so in this case the upper function would be 6 and the lower function would be 4 times natural log of 3 minus x. And so using these you just plug it into this condensed formula which would be the integral from 0 to 2, because these are the x values, of 6 minus 4 natural log of 3 minus x dx and you'll just plug that into the calculator. So, in the calculator you go to math 9, which gives you the integral, and you just plug everything in. 6 minus 4 natural log of 3 minus x, close all your parentheses, x, and your answer is 6.817. For part b, we have to find the volume of the solid generated when r is revolved about the horizontal line y equals 8. So to do this, we use the washer method because the solid is not touching the axis of rotation. Okay, so this is volume equals pi times the integral from a to b of big R, big R squared minus little r squared dx. So big R is the distance from the axis of rotation to the function that is farthest away from it. Little r is the distance from the axis of rotation to the function closest to it. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and plug all the values in. So the pi would stay the same, and your bounds would be from zero to two, because those are the x coordinates, and your big r would be eight, which is the axis of rotation, minus four ln, of 3 minus x squared minus, so now we're going to do little r, so we're going to have 8 again, minus 6, because it's the closest, squared, and then dx. And then what you're going to do is plug this into your calculator. All right, so we're going to go to math 9 and have, yeah, so we're going to do 0 to 2 of 8 minus 4 natural log of 3 minus x, and then you're going to square that, subtracted by 8 minus 6 squared dx. And you're going to have this, but you also need to multiply it by pi, and you get the answer 168.180. Alright, so for part c, the region r is the base of a solid. For this solid, each cross-section perpendicular to the x-axis is a square. Find the volume of the solid. Okay, so what you're going to want to do first is kind of draw a visual, visual of what the problem is saying. So the cross-section is going to look something like this. And then you have the kind of like the 3D of it. And so to find the volume of a solid using cross-sections, you're going to need to find the area of the of the cross-section first. So the normal formula of area for a square is side squared. And to find one side using cross-sections, you do f of x, which is the uppermost function, minus g of x, or the lower function, and so you'd square it. And so in this case, it would be 6 minus 4 natural log of 3 minus x, and then all of that squared. And so for volume, 
the formula for cross sections is the integral from A to B of the area dx. And so the formula all written out would be the integral of 0 to 2, so your two x's. And then the in, and you'd have 6 minus 4 natural log of 3 minus x squared dx. And then you just plug this into your calculator. All right, so you'd have your math 9, and you're going to plug it all in. So 0 to 2 of 6 minus 4 times the natural log of 3 minus x. And then you're going to square that whole th oh, oh, not that. You're going to square the whole thing. And you have dx. And your answer should be 26.267.